This film will show you what to expect if you are having an exercise ECG, often called a stress or exercise test. My name is Gerard Dunn. I live in Surrey and I'm a builder by occupation. I'm here today to have a stress test because the found of the rhythm of my heart is isn't working properly. My name is Parisha Khan and I'm a cardiac physiologist at St George's Hospital. An exercise ECG is basically a test to see how the heart performs when it's under stress. So what we're looking at is the electrical activity of the heart um, and also blood pressure changes while a patient is walking on a treadmill. I'm a bit apprehensive about, about it, but at the same time, I've got to think of the future. Whatever a hospital needs to do to get me back to full health, I'm willing to go for it. We prepare the patient by asking them to remove their top clothes, um, and if you're a female, you'll be given a hospital gown. We'll put electrodes on the chest, and they'll be hooked up to an ECG recording and a blood pressure cuff around their arm. They'll be asked to walk on the treadmill. Every three minutes, the treadmill will get steeper and faster, and during each stage of exercise, we measure the blood pressure. You happy? Yep. Good. We try and encourage the patient to do as much as they can, but obviously they need to tell us if they have any symptoms if at all. And we'll also be monitoring the blood pressure, the heart rate and the ECG. Um, the test from start to finish, for the patient coming in, being set up and from them actually leaving the room, it takes about half an hour. If the patient's had enough or if we see anything significant, the machine is slowed down and then we recover the patients for at least five minutes. We want your um, blood pressure and your heart rate to come down to how it was before we started. Obviously, you need to catch your breath first as well. The test was fine, but as the minutes went on, I could feel pressure and my breathing got a lot, a lot faster. Once the blood pressure, heart rate and ECG go back to pretty much as it was to start with, we end the test and then the results are sent to the doctor. The advice I would give them to, if it's been recommended, go and do it. Listen to your doctors. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time, and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>